Hi folks, Hacksaw Duggan here and I'd like to welcome everybody to my YouTube channel. Something different and we're going to try it. I know it won't start to 2024. This is still 2023, but I want to welcome everybody. And I figure what better way to welcome folks than to bring them here to my home. So I live here in South Carolina with my wife, Deborah. Uh, we've been here for probably almost uh, 18 years now. I live out in the country, as you can tell. Uh, we've got a beautiful pond down here. And you can see some of our ducks swimming around. These are our Peking ducks. We have four Peking ducks and one Muscovy. We call her Smiley. I wish she was here. She comes up, eats out of your hand. Really domesticated duck. But we love living out here in the country. 90 minutes from the Charlotte airport. So it's, you know, from Charlotte, you can fly almost anywhere in the world. So we're close to a major airport. So we'll head in. This is my house here. Take a look, folks. Uh, yeah, the, uh, oh, and Deborah, wave hello to everybody. Deborah, of course, doing the camera work as she always uh, does, has my back all the time. But yeah, me and my friend Big Al, we built this log home. It took quite a while, it was quite a challenge, you know. People say, well, a log home, that's like a kit, right? And I'm like, well, like a pile of two by fours is a kit for a regular house. And instead of one guy grabbing a two by four, you need three guys to go grab a log. But it came out and it's looking great. And we're real happy with it. But now also, check out our, here see here are some of our chickens. And of course, with the two daughters, all the chickens, this is Peachy right here. She's, I wish I had something for you, Peachy. I got nothing for you, sweetheart. Yeah, and we have two roosters. The red one over there, that's Stretch. He's been with us for a while, because when he gets mad, he stretches up really, really tall. And Marble, this other one, we weren't sure it was a rooster. We were supposed to be a hen, but turned into a rooster. But we got a bunch of chickens. Let me show you a chicken pen while we're doing it. Yeah. And I built a chicken pen. I'm not real handy. So uh, it's something I'm proud of, though. It came out okay. We'll have to take you down some other time and show you the chicken pen. But there it is down there. All the chickens, they go down there and roost and, and uh, spend the night. If you can see, it's like we got an automatic door opener for the chickens. Deborah used to get up at six in the morning to let the chickens out. So the romantic guy I am, on her birthday, I bought her an automatic chicken coop door opener, so she doesn't have to get up at five o'clock or six o'clock. The thing opens up, and about seven or eight at night it closes, so no predators can get in. Oh, and as you can see, one thing we got plenty of are security cameras, man. I know everybody heard about the home intrusion we had, and you can see why it was so weird to happen. We're way out in the country. The road is way down there, past those pine trees. Maybe you can see my flagpole flying down there. We got the, of course, got to have Old Glory flying down there by roadside. So we're coming upstairs. Her up at this. Oh, and there's Smiley, the duck. <laughs> Smiley's taking a little nap got into the bag of corn. And of course, this goose always gives me a hard time. I don't like the goose. <laughs> Just kidding. My daughter just gave that to Deborah to dress up on different uh, holidays. Of course, we have the corn here for Smiley and the other ducks. And then down here is where we're sitting in the summertime. I have my binoculars. Kind of keep track on all the, the old man. Get off my lawn! <laughs> Nobody around to get off the lawn. And of course, then we have the uh, the bird seat for the bird feeders and stuff. But now for the uh, the big one, guys. Oh, here comes Smiley. But this uh, Deborah really does our house up great. We're still decorating, but come on in and check it out, man. It's it's gorgeous. And the tree, I don't know, it's 12 or 15 foot. It's a big, big tree. And we got the uh, Andre uh, uh, stocking up there. And we got, of course, the family stockings. It's Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus, another Christmas tree, a Christmas tree angel. And then, yeah, scooch over this way, honey, and show them the staircase. Whoop. This is staircase, of course, we got the little stuffed animals. She's got everything stuffed animals. 
Uh, up there is more Santa Clauses, another Christmas tree. We're still putting on Christmas decorations. Uh, I tell you, but it was great to save them. This one here, 1985. Yeah, Deborah and I have been together for 40 years. Uh, everybody hears the horror stories about wrestling. It's been a different deal for us, man. Uh, it's been a great 40 years together, two daughters, and still living the life. But as you can see, folks, uh, nice Christmas, and the girls' rooms are upstairs and everything. And again, here, of course, we got four cats. <laughs> so we've got cat stuff and the dog stuff all around. We've got the, the cat tower. But Deborah loves nutcrackers. So if you ever want to get Deborah a present, I don't know how many you got all together, you know, honey? 225 or so. 225. And of course, they go from this size to every size you can. And they're from all over the world. You know, Deborah travels with me. And we go all over the world and uh, she gets them. And here's a good example. Here's a, a, a picture over in Hawaii. And then up in Alaska doing the glacier uh, tour up in Alaska on a, a glacier boat. But we got to the snow village. It's it's a wonderful life, not a Christmas story. Deborah had to correct me on that. We enjoy both of the movies, but it's a wonderful life with Jimmy Stewart. He jumped right off the bridge right there, man. And of course, uh, like I said, of course again. But uh, we get a nice uh, Christmas village. And every year we try to give Deborah another another uh, part of the village. Some of the other Christmas stuff. A flamingo from Florida. We lived in Florida for 20 years before we moved up to South Carolina. Titusville, Florida. Spent a lot of time in Florida. And of course, <laughs> a Christmas story with a lamp. But of course, I can't help but think about a fishnet stocking lamp. Who wouldn't enjoy one of those? And pictures of former Christmas, past Christmases, some snow globes. Christmas, something my mom gave me years ago. I've, we've been dragging around the country for many, many years with old ratings. But come on in and sit down. This is where we do most of our bookings from. Deborah sits there. I sit here. But you need to sit over there. I want me to sit over here because of the glare. Okay, yeah. We do all our, here we got the computer. We do all our, uh, our bookings. This is where I do the uh, cameo stuff. I do a lot of cameos. And the old big two by four I do, they, oh, hey folks, I'm Hacksaw Duggan. And we uh, have a nice camera. We wish people happy birthday, uh, happy graduation, happy Mother's Day, whatever it is. And uh, for all I want to have a chance and plug my shop, HacksawJimDuggan'sShop.com. You can get an autograph two by four, eight by 10, we even have the uh, wrestling buddies nowadays, which is really cool. And we're over here now by my gun cabinet. I have quite a good uh, collection of sporting uh, rifles. I, I enjoy shooting handguns. I was just at the range. That's why my uh, shooting bag and my have a couple of uh, guns right here, some pistols. I have a brand new Taurus 44 Magnum and a 9 millimeter uh, Beretta. Uh, I enjoy shooting quite a bit, so I uh, like I know Godfather big uh, enjoys doing it myself himself. But anyway, I just want to show you folks around up, ah, show you what a big fan we are. For it's a wonderful uh, no, it's a Christmas story. We got the red uh, red rider uh, BB gun. That's one of the things we start off Christmas decorations with. But anyway, folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff here around the house. Uh, we see some old past wrestling stuff from the black trunks and white boots where I was chopping meat every night, stomping and being hacksaw Jim Duggan until I was king of wrestling with the cape, the crown, the flag, the board, the thumb, the tongue, and the hole, and the crossed eyes. The whole transition from chopping meat to being silly, but surviving in a very tough business for over 40 years. Not only surviving, but thriving. You know, a lot of folks say, hacksaw, you were never world champion. That we're not all lead singers in the band. I've been the drummer for 40 years, let Hogan and Flair do the singing. It's been a great spot. But like I said, folks, stay tuned to the YouTube channel. You're going to see a lot of things. And if you see Hacksaw ever around, come up, say hello, and give me a ho!